I'm Rachel Hoffman. I'm one of the casting directors for Beetlejuice and excited to meet you and see what you bring to this wacky show. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Broadway. Today, the Chai Guys are auditioning to be in a real live Broadway musical. Kill! Hold on, we don't want to kill. Ready? Okay. Focus. And in the end, one of us will be chosen to make our official Broadway debut as part of the cast for Beetlejuice the Musical. I'm getting closer, baby! Hi, I'm two-time Tony Award loser Alex Brightman. <laughs> the greatest stakes we've ever had in a Try Guys video. One of us will be in tomorrow night's show. I'm seeing a little bit of panic behind the eyes. There are no losers in theater, but there are some. We made it, guys, we're here. And then one of us is really gonna be on Broadway. Uh, Zach Kornfeld, 5'8", I am willing to shave. You know, anywhere, really, you need me to shave. Good to know. We are in New York City, New York, and we are here on Broadway. We're gonna be singing, we're gonna be dancing, we're gonna be doing a scene. The person who wins the audition role today, tomorrow, they're in Beetlejuice on that stage in front of a probably sold out audience. I'm thankful to be here, but I'm terrified to be here at the same time. This is terrifying. Terrifying. My name is Eric Anthony Johnson. I am a swing with uh, Beetlejuice on Broadway. There are just over 40 Broadway theaters, and all what it is is a classification of seat capacity. So 500 seats and over, Broadway theater. Less than 500 seats, not a Broadway theater. So today we're auditioning to get on Broadway, but what does it really take to get on Broadway? Firstly, it's being right for the show. Beetlejuice the Musical is this super funny, irreverent comedy. At the center of our story, you have Beetlejuice, a demon from hell. Intermixed, we meet Lydia trying to deal with her life. And so these two characters who don't really fit in have an intersection that catapults our musical forward. There's 13 people in our show who play a variety of characters. So being a swing is being the understudy for those ensemble members. I didn't realize there was gonna be so much vocabulary today. This is like, oh, I I've got to learn a whole new language. You're gonna get a BFA by the end of today. Wow, that'd be great. You know, I was a theater major, but not a musical theater major. There's a difference. I have no doubts about myself as a performer, but I'm a very bad auditioner. Being cast in Beetlejuice would be, I don't know, like a, a life moment. I did plays and musicals in high school uh, because I was unathletic and had nothing else to do and love attention. <laughs> in high school, I was typecast as one of two roles. The comic relief, or the chronically ill child. <laughs> I know that you get the role by not caring. So today, I don't give a shit. What do you do before you go on audition? Do you do the word thing, the apples, bananas, pears, and fruits? That's exactly what I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> apples, yeah. bananas, pears, and fruits. So cue the sad music right now. We haven't even started crazy. Cue the sad music, please, right now. So um, I'm in uh, I'm in high school. You know, I was like, hey, I should try out for the school play. Get on stage. I have the sides. I'm about to read. I walk off and never come back. And I regret it to this day. So being here right now, I still have the same fear, but I'm going to do this no matter what. I think I already won because I, I, I'm going to do it, but it's going to be icing on the cake if I take this part. I'm doing this for Young Quasi. This is a redemption story. This is gonna be fun. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? confident at first, now I'm not anymore. Uh, my name is Brooke Engen. I am the dance captain of Beetlejuice on Broadway. This is Adam Laird, Hi. our associate music director of the show. Nice to meet you all. I'm gonna teach you a little bit of the whole being dead thing part two today, which is our zombie cheerleader stomp routine. The nice thing about our show is there's so many different styles, so it has a little bit of something for everyone. Are we gonna be crumping? No, you're not gonna be crumping. So not something for everyone. <laughs> 
We just really want to see you give your personality, show us your character. Ten different numbers in the show that all have choreography. And yes, every single person in our show dances. Every single one. Every single one. Hmm. Take it up, take it under, take it up together, snap. Gabby Douglas, I just hate being judged. No one's judging. Well, someone's uh, judging. Look at the judging. I would say I that's exclusively say. judging. We always know that like in an audition experience, there's like anxiety and you have a limited amount of time to learn choreography, but it's always about absorbing what you can and putting your best foot forward. All right, left, right, up. Take it under and an over and what? Just yeah. finish. Quincy, just, just finish. Just finish. I don't just really finish, know. Just finish, baby. Keep that performance element, especially from the waist up. It's all about showmanship. Okay. Are you seeing panic on our faces? I'm seeing, I'm seeing a little bit of panic behind the eyes. No matter what, even if you forget, don't stop. Just keep dancing. When in doubt, improv, and just show us your personality. Because again, that's something we can't teach. We have several weeks to teach you choreography when going into the show. No one's gonna like send you to the wolves. It's, they're wolves. So many wolves. Five, Five six, seven, eight, and. Side. Don't go to the netherworld. Netherworld? Did I say netherworld? Never mind. I'm the B to the double E, J, F, Q, and Jesus, I can't spell shit. My name is Chris Kukul, and I'm the music director and orchestrator of Beetlejuice the Musical. All the music is live. We have an 18-piece orchestra. I take what the composer writes and split up that music for the parts for the orchestra. So all the other musicians who play, I write the parts for them. That's more than I thought a music director did. <laughs> One, two, three, and ready? ready? Okay. okay. Hi. I'll, I'll be your guide. guide. I'll be your G-U-I-D-E to, to the other side. side. Don't, Don't go, go to the netherworld. Did, did I say, did I say netherworld? netherworld? Never, Never mind. mind. I'm B to the double E J L E O G. Jesus, I can spell. Great. Today, I'm going to teach you the whole Being Dead thing part two. Sort of a rap, sort of sung. It's a short little thing, but it shows a lot of versatility. This is, we're singing as Beetlejuice himself. Singing as the character of Beetlejuice. Our current and original Beetlejuice, Alex Brightman, has a very distinct, unbelievably amazing take on it. And such a bold departure from the original source material. How does he do it? He's a freak. <laughs> and I mean that in a technical sense. He has a weird ventricular fold. Oh, please, no! Oh, my God, please! That allows him to make that sound without any damage. I'm like a ghost zombie Jesus. If we don't have a special fold in our throat, yep. how does one sing in a way that doesn't strain their voice? It's really about making sure you are in control of it and worry less about the kind of voice we're going to put on it. Can we make it sexy? You can make it as sexy as you can make it R&B. How will it not yes. be sexy? I'm talking about drapes. I'm talking about <laughs> silk. I'm talking, can we make I'm it? I'm curious to see what that's gonna be. Can you slow it down, you know what I mean? We can't do that. Oh, we can't oh, do that. Cannot oh, do that. It. So, okay, so <laughs> fast and sexy. The thing that can't change is the tempo. The good news is you and your spouse died in your own house. That gives you clout. That means that you two of you should stick around. Lucky for you, I dropped by. Yeah, yeah you seem like nice guys. A little lot of pottery bond and dry white wine side. Dry white wine side. I can't breathe. Well, it's faster, it's much faster. I want to make sure you, the words are clear, that the consonants and the diction can reach to the back of a, a 1500 seat theater. Stick with me, I'm like a ghost zombie Jesus. A little pushes in. That there, sounds right? way better. You know, we talked about you having your own take on it, but I would hate to see that your take turned it into a different song. To give you control of your soul. Right? Now you're showing off, dude. Well, I'm telling you how to sing it right. <laughs> any tips, any words to bring with us as we go? To the audition. Yeah. Just trust yourselves. You have it. It's in you. Just let it be there. Don't get scared. Breathe. Be funny. Breathe, be funny. Breathe and be funny. Hi, I'm two-time Tony Award loser Alex Brightman. <laughs> Um, I play Beetlejuice on Broadway. A monster hit, scaring its way to eight Tony nominations, including one for the ghost with the most himself, Alex Brightman. It's Alex Brightman and the Demon Rascals of School of Rock, the musical. Hey! <laughs> Alex 
Alex Brightman, the cast of Beetlejuice. Best musical and best actor for Alex Brightman. And I'm looking forward to uh, talking to you guys about this whole thing because it's always easier for someone like me to talk to total amateurs. <laughs> You're going to be helping us with our scene work today. Yes, I'm going to help you with your scene work today. I know the scenes very well. I've done the show around nearing 600 performances. So then I was like, let's do this. But then she was like, but I don't have any baby oil. But then I was like, but I've got some guacamole. And that is how I got herpes from Katherine Hepburn. The main thing I want to let you know about auditioning is it is not about the performance. Hi, I'm sorry. Uh, why are we in the attic? Huh? Oh yeah, right, right. I'm gonna teach you guys how to be ghosts. Oh, Barbara, it's like one of our classes. It's about the willingness to be malleable so that when we get you into the room for two months, you're workable, you're collaborative. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We take all these adult recreational classes, you know, um, uh, backyard composting, ballroom dancing. We just took this amazing glass blowing class. <laughs> it was so hard. Oh, but the teacher was a Wiccan. So, kind of like this. I am not a Wiccan. Cause they're not gonna just cast you and throw you on stage. They wanna be able to hang out with you, have lunch with you, be able to rehearse with you. Today we're gonna to be cast and thrown on stage. That yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah, although that, yes, that being said, this is going to be the polar opposite of that. <laughs> so performance is everything. <laughs> the only direction I'm gonna give you, and we're yeah. gonna start right away, okay. is I want you to be slightly giggly and sort of titillated the entire time. You're kind of into this. Okay. Even though you're a little scared, but you're still kind of into this, and maybe you're sort of slightly into me. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So feel free to go for it. There are no wrong choices. Oh, Barbara, it's like one of our classes! There are bad choices, but they're not wrong. But the teacher was a Wiccan. It was kind of like this. <laughs> I am not a Wiccan, and that is nothing like this. Don't you want to get these people out of your house? <laughs> Stop right there. That's all I need to see. It's like boxing. You know, you're gonna get hit a bunch of times and you gotta like leave the ring. Are you and gonna hit us during this? I said, I told you that anything can happen and sometimes this is dangerous. <laughs> Nothing would give me more pleasure than to kill these people downstairs. Kill? Hold on, we don't wanna kill. Non-verbal acting. When there is no lines, still on, still communicating, still in the scene. How do you use like nervous energy? Before our show, I'm dreadfully nervous. No matter what I do, I cannot affect the world of the living, but the two of you can. So, what do you say? We just use it. We uh, Using it for comedy especially is just great because it'll make choices you never thought you had inside of you. On the count of three, just yell out the scariest thing you can think of. One, two, three. The Trader Joe's parking lot. The Electoral College. Two, three. The Trader Joe's parking lot. The Electoral College. Why is Ohio so powerful? I want to change my answer. Great job. Great job. Great, really nice read. Uh, lots of different dynamics. Why is Ohio so powerful? Really nice comedic moment. Not how it's played in our show. And just an excellent choice, right? I don't want you to be nervous, but this is a big deal. Mm -hmm. And one of you will be thrown on stage in front of a Broadway audience who have paid real money to see your performance. Okay. I have one last tip, which is never be satisfied with what you have done. Carry your work into the room. If you find yourself that you found a finished product, that's not, in my opinion, that is not the right thing. Come in, all, continuously workshopping. Make the choices and have a really good time. Anything? Yeah, there's no mistakes. Just have fun. I'm Rachel Hoffman. I'm one of the casting directors uh, for Beetlejuice. Hi guys, I'm Rashad Naylor, also working with Rachel here with the Telsey office. This season alone, we've cast at least 20 different Broadway shows. I'm Rachel Botter. I'm the production stage manager for Beetlejuice on Broadway. And I'm Chris Kukul. I'm the music supervisor. And we're going to watch your Broadway singing come to life. All right, guys, so what we're going to do, we're going to start with you dancing. Zach, you're going to be first, and the rest of you can hang out in the hallway. It's such a cool opportunity that I think my, I can't allow myself to even imagine it, because if I really think about myself on that stage, then I will be crushed. I've decided already that I will not win, and so I'm going to win. 
<laughs> uh, Zach Kornfeld, 5'8". I am willing to shave and um, willing to move for the, you know, anywhere really you need me to shave. Good to know. <laughs> Ready to dance? I think so. <laughs> nice touch at the that end. Was Very good. That was great. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm f***ing done. If you walk out of an audition and go, that really sucked, that's part of your audition. People out there know the reader in here, and they'll tell them, and then they'll tell the director, Dr. to dance. Dr. to dance. The people behind the table, make them feel like you have this. All right, Quasi. All right, you are up next. Quasi Ready James. to dance? This is this is uh this is the redemption. This is I'm back. You know this is young Quasi. Look at you now, from the high school of Stranahan stage to Broadway. This is everybody getting the wooden basket. This is the mighty freaking ducks. All right, everybody, it's Quasi James. Here Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> hello, hi. Um, Kwesi, you've met me before. Did meet you Hey, before. well, nice to see you again. Last thing you want to do is if you find a person and they have giving off energy of like, we're ready to watch you audition, audition. If they come off the table and they say, hello, how are you? Play that too, but it's always good to start reading the room the minute you come in. Adam, oh, shucks. Oh, great. Well, I'm happy to perform for you and uh, let me know if you want me to do anything different or if you want to see any more things and I'll be happy to. Amazing. All right. Let's go for it. What do you when you are? Five, six, here we go. Oh, Finish it before the song and it again, but it's all good. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want one more? I will love one more. Okay. And this time I'm gonna nail it. Crazy, this time when you do it, don't do anything but scare us. Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Whenever you're ready. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chris. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right. I've bombed every single type of audition possible. Okay. You ready to dance? Yeah, let's do it. Cheese. Is it Happer's Burger? Happer's Burger. All right. A burr, like a cold. Gotcha. And then it's a burger. <laughs> and then it's just a burger. Definitely, I'd say, and I think for all actors, I've failed a lot more than I've succeeded. Hello. Hi. Hello. How Hello. are you? Great. How are you? Good. Tell Very us about good. your, do you have any dance experience, Keith? <laughs> I mean, I like to think I'm a great choreographer for improvisers. Okay. You know, literal dancing. This is when you sing, you dance the exact lyrics. Like it's like, I called her on the phone, that kind of stuff. Got it. That counts. Okay, great. great. There's something about it, it feels adversarial rather than like the theater, like everyone wants it to go well. I feel like auditions, people are also like hoping some people don't do well to make the choice easier for them. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit of everything. Right? <laughs> yeah. For sure. That was great. I'm, maybe I'm psyching myself out, but I just like so want to nail it. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Hi. I'll be your guide. I'll be your G-O-I-D-E to the other side. Don't go to the netherworld. Did I say netherworld? Never mind. I'm B to the double E J L E. Oh, Jesus, I can't spell. I understand it's a lot to process, but the good news is your spouse died in your house. That gives you clout. That means the two of you should stick around. Looking for you, I drop by. You should be a nice guy. A little on the pottery barn and dry one side. As for me, I've been scaring for millennia. I'm the bio exorcist giving houses enemas. Flush out all the breathers you can breathe. Ease your stick with me. I'm like the ghost zombie Jesus. It's the perfect day to die. To give you control of your soul to the whole being dead thing. To give you control of your life to the whole being dead thing. The whole being dead thing. <laughs> All right. Well done. Great.
Sorry, Keith. Really nice. The whole being dead thing. <laughs> the whole being dead thing. Ooh, all Big right. finish. Yes. <laughs> Got to finish strong. We were talking about you. The fact that you aren't a. Yeah. You know, capital P performer. You don't do it all the time. The, you are doing incredibly well. Ah, uh, thank you. That time it was full of words, and the first time Oof. there were no words. Oh yeah, yo. I got a great note of making sure that in the lyrics for the song, I'm explaining to them what's happening. When it starts, the singing starts. Yeah. Worry less about the singing okay. and more about giving the the information to those two people. You try to be like, eh, it's just a, okay, it's just not even real. But like, they're so, they're real. so, they're 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 so real. real. Can you be a little more positive okay. and a little more of like a, like a coked up cheerleader? I have so much more respect. The respect was already there for anyone who has to go through this experience, but so much more respect. You want to do some sides? Would love to. Perfect. So I was like, let's do this. But she was like, I don't have any baby oil. But I was like, I have some guacamole. And that is how I made nachos with Katherine Hepburn. I'm sorry, why are we in the attic? Right, I'm gonna teach you how to be ghosts. Oh, Barbara, it's like one of my classes. We take a lot of adult recreational classes. You know, ballroom dancing, backyard composting. We just took this amazing glass bowling class. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> we mostly just watched and drank wine. Right, 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 right. But, but, the teacher was Wiccan, so kinda like this. I am not Wiccan, and this is nothing like that. Don't you wanna get those people out of your house? Oh, definitely. Then you have to learn how to scare them. Can't you just scare the people for us? Oh, Babs, I would love that. There's nothing that would give me more pleasure than to kill the people downstairs. I kill them? Oh, hold on, you know, we don't want to kill anyone. Figure of speech, Adam. Why you gotta be so sexy? Kill? No, I don't want to kill. Figure of speech, Adam. Why you gotta be so sexy? Oh, kill? We don't want to kill. Figure of speech, Adam. Why you gotta be so sexy? Here's the problem. Right now, no matter what I do, I cannot affect the world of the living, but you two can. So, what do you say? Oh uh, yeah, okay. Let's do this. So what do you say? Okay. Let's do this. So what do you say? Okay. Let's do this. Great, count of three, yell out the scariest thing you can think of. One, two, three. The Tree Jedi Joe's College. Ooh. <sighs> Why is Ohio so powerful? One, two, three. The Trader Joe's Party. Of the Electoral College. Ooh. Why is Ohio so powerful? I'm gonna change my answer. One, two, three. The Trader Joe's Party. The Electoral College. Ooh. Yeah. Why is Ohio so powerful? I want to change my answer. That was so great. Thanks. That was great, Keith. Thanks. Have you done theater in the past? I did major in theater. Ah. I did. That's and why you know how to take a note. Yes, but not musical theater. <laughs> nice. That was really terrific. Yeah. Thank you. Well done. Exactly. Super fun Thank scene. You. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good job. Really How do you feel? Crazy. I feel good. I feel like um, Quake is the loudest I've screamed in a long time. And it feels, <laughs> feels very freeing. It feels very freeing. All right, guys. We got a decision to make here. Oh, this is the worst part. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is taking me back to every college show I auditioned for, because you audition and then you just wait. Yeah. Let's talk about Zach. I think he did a good job. Yeah, and rhythmically the dancing was solid. Yep, solid. With it the whole time. Committed, energetic. I think he was the best dancer of the group, probably. Yeah, yeah, the, like the sharpest, the yeah, the most rhythmic. Being dead. I thought he was great. The first time he seemed to be over singing a little bit. I thought he brought a lot of flavor to the song too, which I appreciate. What about a scene work? How were the sides? I thought he, he made a very charming Adam. I yeah. thought he was terrific. I thought he took uh, an adjustment. I was really following the arc of the scene. Like I, I really enjoyed his scene work. All right, so what about Keith? Keith, he has those faces. <laughs> Keith looks <laughs> like those. he can make those faces from the from the film, from the netherworld. You know, oh, like yeah, Keith's yeah, yeah, face yeah. Nat naturally can <laughs> yeah. do that. Which was a little, at first I was like, can he do anything but that? But then he kind of took the note. He did. Bit. His character was perfectly clear right away. And he clearly has done this before and he's comfortable with it. He's probably the strongest singer of the group. I don't know if what this part requires is being the strongest singer. He was very committed and very deliberate with yeah. everything and it definitely sold it for me. And he's so tall and lanky that it like it adds to the movement. It just, you know, it makes it fun to watch. So then Kwesi came in with so much heart. Well, he's so charming. I mean, he's he's so, he's so fun. Yeah. I loved watching him try genuinely, you know? Yeah, right. But also, I do think he could get there. I think that with the time... Like, I really feel like yeah. we watched him improve, and yeah. I feel like he would continue to improve if we had an actual rehearsal process with yeah. him. I thought he was great. 
in this situation, we want someone who is okay with making mistakes and is gonna keep moving forward. It's a job that thousands of people would want and it's happening tomorrow night. So we gotta make a decision, yeah? Yep. Oh shoot, oh shoot, shoot, it's up, it's up. So what I expect you guys to do is really have fun. And if you have choices to make, if you have different things you want to do, feel free to just do them. And that's how you lose to I usually, <laughs> that's, that's how you lose to Tony. <laughs> I usually get paid a lot.